Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Software Inc. where we continue to create our game development company. Last episode guys, we created a bunch of games. We recently created FIFA, Call of Duty and The Lost Folio. All which has led to a slight increase in the fans for the game industry. Now we are losing fans everywhere else, but I'm trying to build up my reputation so I can then subsidize another company. Now we did subsidize one of the companies where they gone right now. Hold on, hold on. It's easy to find the distribution right now. Which we pumped so much freaking money into macro ease right now. But they are creating many products. They've got another product coming out in four years, which is a very, very long time away. But the current product that they've got out right now is the, um, I believe it is, I think they're creating versions of the same operating system. Where's Macro Ease? Where are they? Let me search it by worth. They are down uh, here. They are the second worst company in the game. <laughs> Which is not too good, but they did recently release uh, OS 5, which has basically made them so much money. But yeah, wait, have they released that one? Was it that one? No, they released OS 7, sorry, which has made them um, 100 million profit so far, which hopefully some of it goes into our bank account too. Now today, guys, we need to create our distribution center in terms, what I mean is my printing center. Because every time I create a game right now, I'm having to order copies, which costs me a lot of money. So we're going to have to create our own little center. Now, it's not going to be huge, it's not going to be crazy, it's going to be quite modest and quite simple. And I might build it just here. Uh, a simple, stylish little building. <laughs> that we can uh, hopefully have a bunch of um, stuffs being printed from it, so I can no longer spend money on ordering copies. Now, if you guys do enjoy this and want to see more, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you're new here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when the next video does come out. So, while all this still continues to make your boy money, we're making 10 million in a month, which is really, really good. Uh, if I go to stocks and shares, I currently own uh, a big chunk in Dow Studio, which need 1 billion to take over them, which is a lot of money. Uh, Lane Soft Studios here. I could take over these guys right now, which would be quite easier to do uh, than in any of the other companies. Now, this company right now, in terms of products, is that the product of them or is it the product of the company? Uh, products, Lane Soft Studios, they are used to making Soft software and all that kind of jazz. Stuff that kind of makes good money, like really good money. Let me just double check that it is them because sometimes I click on that. Uh, you get, kind of get confused with it being, uh, where's all companies? Uh, Lane, Soft, which is just up here, uh, products, yes. And they they do generate a decent amount of cash. Now, I might subsidize that, that company first when I get the two stars. Unless I can do it now, right? Hold on. Uh, I want to subsidize. Yeah, I need to have a two-star business reputation. Fine, fair enough. So, well, we hopefully eventually earn that sweet, sweet cash. We are going to... Do I need to buy this piece of land? Do I own it yet? Uh, no, I don't own it. So I'm going to buy it right now, thanking you very, very much. And we're going to build a little printing studio. So I'm going to take it up to there, two by two, and then go across by 20 is what I think I'll do. And we'll try and build some car parking spots here. So hopefully the car parking spots are going to be used by the um, the couriers that pull up. That building fits there perfect. A little bit too perfect, if you ask me. So yeah, hopefully it gets used by the couriers, which does mean I'm going to have to now hire an additional security guard because technically I'm going to have an additional entry point to the building. Uh, or to the buildings that they can steal from, from any, forget any burglars coming in. So let me open up this area with windows. I think we'll go back by 1,500, 1,500, and then just do the same down here. And that opens up the building with a little bit of light, which is really good. Uh, we have to obviously add in for the printing side of it, the stuff so the couriers can get the stuff to the vehicles. So I'm gonna place down here, so they only got to walk down the side, which does mean and I should probably do it now. Uh, place in the path. Because I don't want them to now all of a sudden start crying to me. Oh, no. 
Excuse me, come on. Right, that is freaking difficult to get this path in, isn't it? That really is. I don't know if I'm going to have to do the rest. That is so difficult to join. Why won't it let me go smack bang from there to there? There we go. That was a little bit easier. Right, there we go. <laughs> oh my goodness me, I want to cry. Anyway. Anyway, guys. So, yes, they could actually like walk in and collect stuff, but we're going to build it down here anyway, where they collect the good stuff. So, let's do it by room. We want distribution. And we'll start first then with... We'll put it to here. Now bring it down by... Now that'll be fine. I'll put it there. Even though the, the kind of the part of the vehicle there. The more likely you're gonna walk in here anyway if there's no, no goods being stored there. Because we also gotta think about when they when we have like a bunch of crates in as well. So if I bring this to about here, and then I run this right down to there. So if I just do that for now until I figure out my systems uh, of how I get everything where I need it. Maybe I should have... And this is the annoying bit right now. Once you place it down, you can't really technically undo it. But if I move all this to there, obviously you can only move that at the minute. Actually, let me remove it all. Alright, bam there. Alright, ignore this bit, because we'll scrap that and kill it off. We're going to get our printers, our component printer, large product printer. Oh, this is actually smaller than I thought it was going to be. Alright, if I get this... They can access it from the rear, can't they? Yes, going all the way down. Now, I'm not expecting to be able to print like a ton of products. And quite frankly, I don't really want to have the capability to do so because i'm only going to be selling games at this point moving forward so i reckon this here should be oh my goodness me how is that moving so bad i reckon that should be enough to be honest with you i reckon that should be enough so what i've now got to do is figure out how we can do this little crate system that's what we got to try and figure out so i can definitely have crates going down here because you also need the space for them to be walkable right and then if i did this one here you can kind of see you'll get the gist of how this is now going to work so if i do the elevation go in let's say to there and then i pull up the elevation just here i can have this elevated conveyor system oh no it's wrong one delete these two have his elevated conveyor system coming in there we go oh, oh, oh what happened there they come out of build mode uh, and have that go this way so as it comes down it goes that way so what like the couriers coming in i've got two sides to pick from when they walk into the door it's all elevated it's all nice and simple nothing too jazzy got that there it's just very basic okay there's there's no bells and whistles on it it's just it is what it is to get this working you get the gist of it right so i'm not going to be printing millions of copies at most i'm printing one game at a time so that should do us justice so in the grand scheme of things then when it comes to the distribution not digital distribution manufacturing uh, software printing. I can print up to 1,000, no 1,000, 1 1.2 million copies a month. And I'm never ever going to be printing that much. So let's cancel all of this apart from GX3. Because we're still, you know, in, we actually got quite a lot of units in stock. But we still have the, we have the capabilities to be able to print anyway. So buttons are back into play mode then. I was hoping that, can we select these to be like courier parking only? How do you change... Who can park in there? Um, assign parking space to deliveries. I didn't know you could do this. 
Oh, hold on. Uh, deliveries. That's what we're gonna hopefully change to. So the next month, no one should park in there apart from couriers. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. So let's sort this hosting out here real quick. And so hire employee, not hire employee, sorry, hire managed staff. Uh, we we don't have any couriers, do we? No. So if I filter it, filter it by couriers, uh, which I cannot because I don't have any right now, hire a courier, which should then give me the ability to filter by it. So coming at 0, 100 hours. So if I set this to zero as well, um, zero hundred hours. I'll hire four. Now we'll do it at five. I'm gonna stack. No, we'll do it at six. I'm gonna stagger it like this, so they all park in the same spot. One, two, three, four. Then twelve. One, two, three, four. Then eighteen. Uh, one, two, three, four. Which gives it a two-hour start again. So in that two-hour window where there's no couriers, all this will kind of build up. So when they do park, we can maximize how much they can collect. That's what I'm hoping for. But I'm also now going to have to have more security guards. So fill with this by security, which we only have three to begin with. So uh, higher security. Now, technically, we do have two doors, don't we? So I might have to have additional security. So next one is 08, so uh, on two, and then 16, or oh, one, two, there we go. All right, we should be good. We should be good. I get all this stuff out of right, our products run out of uh, and losing sales. Which one is it? FIFA. Funny you should say that, guys, because I can now start producing. Uh, our releases, so go by release date. Like that, right? So FIFA start printing uh, fifty thousand. All right, okay. And then do it for Call of Duty. Start printing fifty thousand. So it will never print any more or have any more than fifty thousand printed in stock. Basically, there we go. Of our free current games. So obviously that will now print, but we technically don't have any um, couriers just yet. So I'm just going to quickly call in right now a couple of couriers just to kind of pick up some of those goods real quick to get them out. So FIFA's got something that it can sell for the next month and then we've got no issues. So that's pretty sweet, mate. That's pretty sweet. So any couriers just chilling right now, nothing to do. We'll just go sit on the chairs upstairs until there's actually some printing coming in. But that's pretty good. I'll take that. I'll take that. We do need to sort out the fire stuff out and all the lighting in there as well. So next month coming in, we should get a couple of items being printed. And it's just as simple as that. There's nothing crazy about this. So can I... Um, actually, let me go into this. I should be able to sort out... What, style of the, what is the style of the building? It's brick, isn't it? Um... Uh, there we go. Just to kind of match the theme everywhere else. Uh, functionality, we need to set up. We need to make sure it's not too warm in this room as well. So. Oh, this won't work because the building is technically separate, isn't it? Yeah. Um. Right, okay. So temperature. I think we're about to get away with it. I think if we just drop some industrial um, fans in. That should keep the room cool, right? It's quite loud, but it is what it is. Uh, lighting, then. If I just quickly get some lighting in. I can go industrial kind of style. But it has a high risk of being flammable. But it does provide a lot of lighting. So, if I just run... Down here... run some down here as well make this place super bright and let me just get in the 
uh, smoke detectors, because that's going to be important. And then the water things. Sprinkler system, just in case it all does set fire. Because that will be dangerous. Oh, I think I think we'll get away with it. I don't think we'll break any rules or any laws or all that kind of stuff. Um, when we get our inspection. So let's fast forward then. And we should be okay then moving forward. So... Uh, printing. I want to see when the month ends. Oh, which is a while anyway. How? Many, oh, the Lost Folio has got a lot of units to be sold still. And so is the GFX5. So it'll be a while before we start printing any of these. So why don't we get another game now in, in the works? So RPG is our lowest one, but that is the Lost Folio that we have now recently released. Let's create a sequel to one of the current games we have now on the market. So the first one we created out of the three was FIFA. So let's create a sequel for it. It's going to be called FIFA 2. <laughs> as simple as that sounds. Um, everything's going to be all set up for it anyway. Uh, do I add anything additional to it? There is a lot of wasted interest. MMO, massive multiplayer online. Maybe get rid of that. Which helps out a little bit. I could have uh, VR. Imagine a bit of VR in FIFA. Um, branch and story, dialogue trees, overworld physics. We'll leave it to that. I'll leave it to that. Existing framework. Is there anything I could use? Um, by date. 53 from Dow. I mean, I, I mean, I can, I, to be honest, I can just create my a new one, but it take two years. I can get this game done in a year. No stress. Um, so, operating systems, we'll go far as down to here, which add two years to it. Got a couple of um, phone operating systems, but they'll probably be outdated by the time I release all this anyway. But bam, auto balance, bam, and develop. Yes, I would like to develop the game. So, my design teams will just blitz now through the iterations of this. As we now get FIFA 2 on the go. Um, I won't start marketing until we go into development stage. Because it just takes so long to develop. You know, there's no point getting fans for it. when we're, They're just going to, you know. We're just going to lose them anyway. Towards the end. So, oh, I, uh, oh, it's all the team leaders right now, isn't it? Five years they've been working for us. Nearly six. That's crazy. That is crazy. So the fire inspector is going to come in next month, and I'm going to find out which rooms we fail on. That's what I want to know. That is what I want to know. So the iterations are still ticking along. We're still making some serious cash off uh, those those games. Up to 15 million right now. Damn. That is some serious money. But we're just pushing it so, so much right now to get our free stars. Printing's all going to be taking place, which it, I can now technically accept some printing deals, but I've got to be careful in what printing deals I accept that I don't overwhelm myself. Because yeah, I might be able to print 1.2 million, but I don't have enough couriers to be able to shift 1.2 million every month. So I'll, I'll accept the lower ones, build up some more reputation as well. Um, so print jobs coming in right now. So I could do that one. I could do that one. I could do that one. I could do them all. So if I accept them all, and let's see how how this now interacts. So not only is it going to print obviously what I need for my games, but it's now going to be obviously doing the printing deals. So how much does it fill up all of this stuff? I reckon it's good enough. So if I bring this down so we can kind of see a little bit of the room. Um, what's in stock? The current goal remaining. I think we're doing alright. Slowly take... Oh, okay, we failed it all. We'll, we'll view that in just a moment. But yeah, these numbers are slowly dropping. As the couriers do come in and get the goods shifted. We've got to March the earliest one. So they're pretty much all done, which is good. That's real good. 
So iteration still being done. So we were fined, seriously fined. So we got 13 fire alarm violations. Um, and you should put sprinklers in room if permanent object. So it's pretty much every room, isn't it? Yeah. Right, wait for this month to end. Which is costing us 200 grand every inspection. So we do need to sort it out. My printing reputation has slightly increased. So, right, let's add in some sprinklers then. Uh, oh, we have sprinklers in here, but maybe you just don't have enough. Or is it fire alarms I need? All right, let me add the fire alarms in first. Oh, I don't know why I'm adding multiple fire alarms in, but I am. Just to be safe than sorry. Now, I don't know if that is going to be enough. Or if I need any more. So I'll wait for the next violation. Because I, I, I feel like I got sprinklers in. So yeah. Interesting one, right? Interesting. Right, another deal print job. We'll accept that one. That should be done pretty simple as well. All this just to get my free star business reputation. Right, how is that company doing? How do I view that company again? Is it? It's not in stocks. Distribution. For 46 million is their net worth. I might have to let them go because if they're not ultimately making money, I could switch it out for another company. It's a shame I can't sell this company, right? It is a shame I couldn't sell it, but I'm making good money anyway, which hopefully we can progress to buying out the other company. 41 million. See, they are costing me an absolute fortune. I don't think they release products often enough. So, get out of here, Siri. Get out of here right now. And it's 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 going to be another three years that I'm going to have to support them before they release this operating system. So, I'm going to withdraw. Should I withdraw all the money and just take the company over? Yeah. Which, they're going to go bankrupt now, so I, I, I hope I withdrew that money. I, I can develop this, by the way. So, they're going to go bankrupt now, and I'm going to gain all their IPs and products. There we go. So, complete takeover that we've now got. Let me just grab this deal real quick. Uh, so, our releases. So, then are classed as our releases. So, frame OS 6, which has got how many... Did, where does it say active people? 300,000. So, I, I mean, I can actually make it sign an exclusivity deal first. There we go. I could technically market this with a budget of 10,000 a month. And I could update it. To the new gen. Yeah. And see if I can give it some life of its own. It's not selling a lot, which is why the company was losing money. So we can make high returns, but I wasn't getting that money. I just wasn't feeling it. It's weird. But at least I can drop a little update for the, for the um, operating system anyway. So, come on. There's like one bug remain. There's not even any bugs. There we go. The update is can now be done. I want to see what happens. I just want to see what happens. So I'm waiting for this month to, to pretty much end is what I'm doing. So everyone's going to go home now. People arrive. There we go. Two, two, okay, we, we put some serious cash up into that right now. It went from like 80,000 to quarter of a million. So old IPs are in the public domain. Again, it's nothing to do with me. 
Uh, I could start marketing this, by the way. I can announce a release date. Uh, we'll do a year and a bit away. I'd also get a press build on the go in the background. I won't quite do a press release just yet. Not quite yet, anyway. So Fever's going to actually get done pretty quick, which I'm quite excited about. Well, they're focusing on the press release for FIFA 2 right now. I'm quite impressed with how, like, how well of an oiled machine we've now created. Right, all companies then. I have now got rid of my subsidiary. Now, <sighs> Lane Soft Studios is a company that often makes products and they're being released a few years in between, two to three years in between, some on the same year, which is a recipe for success, providing that they continually make a profit. Now, I could turn them into a subsidiary, so details, which would take 66 million. I feel like it was 80 million at one point, so are they losing money right now? I'm not too sure, but I'm going to take them over, make them a subsidiary, and I'm going to invest in 100 million into them. So that instantly gives them 100 million. I've, uh, they've cancelled their distribution deal with me because of what's going on, but they're now worth 100 million. Whether or not they start to make money or not is a completely different story. But we'll keep an eye on that. So now, technically, I have got a bunch of new investments in other companies. Because when I take them on a subsidiary, I take on the shares that they own in other companies. And this is what I've now gained. So if I was to sell all my shares, obviously Dow Studio is what I had anyway. I would have $1.5 in the bank. So keep our eyes on that keep our eyes on that so press release got a while to kind of be released just yet we'll see if we keep up with the frame os money coming in we'll see if we can kind of keep up with that so we lost a lot of money that month which is understandable because i just invested like 100 million into another company there we go boys there we go and we bought them out as well so you know very expensive <laughs> Anyway, still a quarter of a million coming in from the Frame OS. Hopefully we'll get this press release all done. Uh, we're almost ready to start doing a bug bash on FIFA, and that's when we're going to double down on the marketing. So do a press build, release the press release, which should start to generate us a little bit of hype, which is what I like to see. I'll also um, market and do some hype hype in general. M2. We don't have an M3 just yet, team. So we'll keep it going. Alright, next month coming in. So followers are definitely increasing. And I'm going to also market another press release. Have that going on in the background again. And now we can promote and start getting rid of the bugs. GG, everybody. So we're still selling pretty well in all of this, so there's no stress at the moment. They're getting press releases done here and there. we got marketing here to be done. This is why we would probably want to get the M3 team up and running. It might be the new big thing. Of course it will be the new big thing. I did say I wanted to create a subscription-based game at some point as well, which we'll take a look at doing. Uh, this is going to be for our sports, so this will increase our sports rating. But we are losing market recognition everywhere else. So, you received nine products and three of a, a power... Oh, how did I take over these guys then? Were they one of the companies that I got um, stocks from? I believe it was. It was one of the smaller pro uh, companies, wasn't it? Now, how well... So, they're still losing money. But in terms of details, you can see they've got an office software coming up. Uh, oh, in December! So, obviously, they're going to be spending quite a bit of cash right now. Let's see how this all goes. So, still got followers coming in. Another deal for hosting. What is it going to take right now to me to get this business reputation up to the next level? Damn! Um, right. 
Right, 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 right. We're waiting for these. See, this period right now, not much marking is going on, is where you need the M3 team coming in. We're still gaining the followers. The month now ends. A couple of uh, employees called in sick. Still getting the money for Frame OS 6, which, be, if I didn't take them over, I would be just losing money from having the company in general. Uh, we're starting to lose a little bit of followers right now, but we can reduce it with the hype thing. So I can also uh, drop a press build again. Actually build up some more followers. Uh, print jobs, we can do both of these. So we'll grab them both. Thanking you very much, sir. All right, let's turn this high priority to getting this press release done. So the press build went out, so we're gaining a little bit more followers again. Uh, Saturn base, that was nothing to do with me. There's a company I bought out, so it is what it is. And it's getting on. So once this is done, look how many bugs we've getting out of the, uh, the game as well. That's quite a lot, isn't it? That is quite a lot. Right, hoping they can get this done pretty quick. Not really printing anything at the moment. Nothing needs to be printed. And we're just waiting. We're just waiting, boys. For the next month to kind of just finish that off. Has one of the still offering for release him. 20 employees gone in sick. One of your uh, IPs in the public domain, which again, nothing to do with me. So, is this almost ready to get done? It is almost. Boom, release. Hopefully, you get some more followers. But we're going to release the game, guys. We're going to release this game right now. So, release! Yay! Yay! Uh, Forwarding talk uh, is the talk of the town. We'll probably go for the fishing simulator five, to be honest. Get out of here! Right, marketing budget twenty-five thousand big ones. Order copies none. Print copies fifty thousand. There we go. So that copies will now be printed. All fifty thousand of them. So here they come. Couriers will pick them up, get them shipped. Very good, sir. Very good. So FIFA 2, which I put down here, is now something else that can now be marketed. Yeah, there's 25 big ones that we're marketing for. So this is good. This is great, great stuff. This is how we do it. We created a game that freaking easy. That freaking easy. So in terms of our releases now then, so FIFA 2... Obviously, make sure it explains the exclusive to the I think it, it, I don't know if it does it by default, but I'm just going to make sure it is anyway. Uh, the first FIFA that we had, 171 million profit. All the games that we created, Call of Duty, uh, The Lost Folio, are making decent amounts of money. Now, Pluto Boy is an operating system that we just gained. Frame OS 7 is what we're marketing, right? No, it's not. Why am I marketing Frame OS 6 when Frame OS 7 has came out? Am I dumb? How have I managed that? I end you. How have I managed that, guys? Did I, am I, was that there when I select Frame OS 6? Am I just completely ob oblivious? No, I don't want to make a sequel. I want to market it. Uh, 10,000. Am I just dumb? Exclusivity deal. Uh, update this, this bad boy. I feel like I'm stupid. And let's go. Oh my goodness me. Oh, 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 servers. Servers are feeling the load right now. That's been a while since that's happened. 
So load 0%? What do you mean? Hold on. Oh, because the burgers looted us. How did they manage... Restore furniture. How did they manage to loot us? Please don't mean that that's lost all of our stuffs. No, we're back on it. I hope we haven't lost all of our deals now because... Oh! <gasps> Two stars! Two stars! Right, do I buy a subsidiary in case I have lost all my reputation? I think so. I think so. So I could go with space... Fo 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 I don't know how you say that one. Um, because that is a company I could very, very easily buy out and make a subsidiary. Now, the other options are, with my stocks, uh, Dow Studio, but I need $1 billion plus the money I have to invest in them to keep them afloat. I could just kind of keep these as they are, and they'll just earn me dividends. Uh, Spark Rail is a company you can't buy out because you can't buy 50% of their shares. This one store you can't buy out as well. So I'm going to go for this company here. Where is it? Here. Because you can buy 55%, which is over 50%. So space, uh, foo, 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 I don't know. Uh, what do they make? They made four products and they make operating systems as well. And that, so that could, again, could be a very, very profitable enterprise. So subsidiary and put 50 mil into them. Yes. So hosting deal was canceled, but it's okay because they automatically now use us. Uh, 50 mil, so we'll see what the net worth changes. We did put 100 mil into lane stuff, so it's 150. We know the differences. Okay, we know the differences. So, with that said... Uh, oh, we do actually need to update our distribution. Oh, that's all maxed out. Six teams. Let's go. Just have that going on in the background. Uh, Frame of Us update can now be released. Updating the Seni store. We'll see what happens. Uh, Three million from Frame of Us 7. This is why I should be marketing this bad boy. Uh, okay, right, sweet. <laughs> I'm getting too carried away. Oh, which would mean... Uh, I'm going to need to cr print copies for it, right? So, Frame OS 7, uh, print, start printing. I'll just do 50,000 units. So, there's no units in stock, so how is it going to sell anything? Is the real question. So, there we go. Accept all and close. Uh, fix rate. I don't really know what I've accepted, but I'm going with it anyway. I'm going with it anyway. So who's who's got issues? I don't quite know. But that shouldn't be coming up. It's a really weird one. It is a really, really weird one. So that month changed... And we do lose a little bit of money on them, but again, I'm expecting products to be coming out from them in 58. So that's next year as well. Oh, th these guys would have released a product just as well. So hopefully that does really well. 4.7 million frame OS 7. So I got to wait for the next month to kind of get a true accurate reading of how much money we're actually now making. So all this is good stuff. Um, still making money off these products up here, so there's no need to do anything just yet. I just realized FIFA, 5.6 million. Oh, I don't even paying attention right now. I'm making some serious cash. Uh, so FIFA 2, already now in profit. So everything what happens now is just additional pennies in our bank account. Very good. Hosting deal, we quickly grab. I didn't realize we we're making that kind of cash. Oh, we're going to be raking it in right now when it comes to the end of this month. How is there other employees in other rooms? The S teams. Which is obviously the support teams. I should have had it staggered. Yeah, it, It's all staggered at what time they arrive. So we shouldn't have these issues.
Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Finish updating the Senny store as well. I'll get that out before the month ends. Okay, so everything on the side right now is what I'm marketing. Very good. Very good. So deal on the go. Print job will get done. Thanking you uh, a very much. A very much right now. So am I still a number one company? Yes. So Dal and Spark Real. Can't buy it Spark Real, but I can eventually buy out Dal. Now their products, they're making operating systems and games. Which makes sense. Because all my games I could just make for my own operating system. <laughs> uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, they get millions of units sold, millions of dollars sold. They do pretty well. They do do pretty well. But I don't think it, I don't think it's a company you would want to buy out. Well, yeah, I would want to buy them out to get rid of the competition, obviously. But I'm thinking. Let me go to details on them. They must no. They don't own shares. I don't quite understand why they got such a high value because it's not like what they're making is is huge, huge profits. I'm thinking it's probably the same as me. So it is interesting. Uh, G call cool, enough to do with me. There we go. Um, we'll see what happens. So frame arrest them pretty well as well. I think it's. At this moment now is where you start thinking about add-ons. 15 million coming in. So an add-on for FIFA is probably what we would want to think about starting to create. Uh, my previous add-ons, uh, oh, oh, Call of Duty and Battle, Battle Pass right now, they didn't really make much money in the end, did they? No. But it gave the game longevity, so maybe we're just not ready just yet for it. But what about FIFA uh, porting it? Is there any operating systems that we could add on to it? Active. Yes, there's maybe two here. I could throw on for it. Uh, an update for the game itself. There was okay. There's a fair few bugs that we would need to get r r rid of. Let's quickly grab these. I should really kind of create my own in-house. Uh, software to use, shouldn't I? All, right, all this is now happening in the background down below. Uh, okay, we will find. Okay, we'll check that in just a second. So where was we find? The find's a lot less. So where was we find now? The bathroom. The oh, this room up top. Fair enough. Those rooms. Okay, not there. Okay, right, I get the gist of it. So, sprinkler, 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 sprinkler. We've got the sprinkler. I think it might be the fire alarms. Is what we're missing. I think that that's what it might be yeah right okay down we go another print job except so are we making any progress right now to get in our third star it probably takes some time we're starting to lose a bit of market recognition right now in the other variations of games which we're going to need on the go which i'm surprised i don't have another go game on the go right now so our releases so, out of our games, we had FIFA, Call of Duty next. What's the other market recognition one? What's RTS? Ah, oh, the tank game. Do I create tank camp? Have a hmm. Tough one, this is, isn't it? It's a tough one. Small part of me wants to create all. No, do you know what? I'll save it for next episode. We'll create a bunch from next episode. Let's just focus on getting these ports done. This update done. 
So I could now create a sequel to the frame OS. Because it's now technically my operating system. So that works out in the long run, doesn't it? Hosting. Bam. We accept, boys. We accept. So there's a couple more bugs we got to get out of this. Can I get that additional bug out? Release. Can we get the port done for FIFA? So FIFA's had a port and an update, FIFA 2. So let's see what the longevity is on this game right now and if we kind of get any more money. 6.2 million. Yes, we do. Yes, we do, do, do. Making sure these are not too mental. We should be able to do both of those. That's craziness. That is absolutely crazy. So what we'll try and get done and set up for next episode then. Now we've got our printing uh, department all up and running. How well is our company? So they're floating around. So we're not losing mega money. We're making a little bit of money, losing a bit of money, making a bit, losing a bit. It's kind of like a little bit of back and forth right now. Uh, money we've got coming in, 17 million. Uh, none of it is coming from dividends, uh, which is a shame. No idea why. We should be getting dividend payments seeing as we own huge shares in companies. Uh, 21 million in sales we had, which breaks down to 17 million in profit. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I feel like we need to slightly invest a little bit more money is what we need to do. Uh, and we probably will do. We probably will do. But in terms of the shares that I own, we're probably not making any money because we, we, we're kind of losing a little bit of money, which is a bit funky. Now, Dow Studio is the company that I could eventually take over. It would be a lot of money to do so. It really would. But I might diversify next episode and try and buy shares in all the companies. So I'll always be making money. Now, this company down here, listed for 20 odd percent, I could buy a huge chunk and then just see how they get on if they do make money details buy because this could be nice little returns on my investments buy these little chunks and as they do well is that the right company there uh i might earn revenue in return so i could spend 45 million here one store right now details I'm going to go for the bigger... Actually, I'll buy it all. There we go. Next company, 7.5%. Buy that, because it's not a lot, really. 2.1 details. Buy. And they'll probably then start selling lots and lots of shares off. Is what they'll do. Wait, what happened there? Oh, buy. I was going to say, what happened there? Um... But as they do, it makes their company a little bit more valuable down the road. So if I invest all this money now, then as the companies get bigger and better, it's going to mean that I make so much more cash in return. All right, 40 million there. I'm going to invest almost all my money. Wagabiz, remember these guys? 91 million. See, now it's getting expensive. Look at that, I've got 1.4 million in the bank. Which is going to feel like I've gone bankrupt. But let's, uh, again, if I made nearly 17 million, that will get added onto that. So, my stocks right now, look at all my percentages that I own of other companies. Let's see how much, if any of them do change as the next month comes along. So get ready, boys. Get ready right now. As the next month comes in. So it's going to say that I'm probably heading for bankruptcy at some point. Yep, it does. I spent nearly 442 million. But look at the dividend payment I just got coming in. So if I can still sell the same amount and have this huge dividend payment coming in. Amazing. Stocks and shares right now. If I do it by change. Look at that. Dow's going up by 9. Space A, whatever it's called there. 5.7. So I now own 
pretty much a chunk in nearly every single company. So as, as they do better and better, I do better and better. <laughs> Invest now for big payments in the future, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Right, we're going to end it here, guys. I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. Until next time, I see you all soon. So, good. <laughs>